What's up everybody? Picker Goose here. Uh, today I just wanted to show you how you could do some research for items on eBay. And I'm only going to be showing you the basics of it. So we're not going to get totally in depth. But I will probably get a little bit more depth, in depth than what you're used to. It's not a basic, hey, let's see what's sold uh, type of a video. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to go to advanced search. And on the left, we can search for many different things. We can search by items. We can search by sellers. So let's say we go to sellers. We want to look up somebody called Awesome Sauce. So let's type it in and see what happens. Um, okay, this is a real seller. And let's see. Let's see here. I guess he's more of a buyer. But he did sell one uh, Disney Tarzan mug, it looks like. Um, so let's go back here. And we're going to go up and we're gonna, we're just going to search by item here. Now we could do by item number, which I just showed you. Every single number on eBay, as you hear my dogs in the background, have a number on it. Okay, and you can always search by it by the item number. Most people know that. I'm not going to really cover that. So let's search for Disney. We can see on the top, we over, over a million uh results were found now when you're searching you're trying to find out the value of your item you really don't want to stop here this is what people are asking for i can ask a billion dollars for my car it doesn't mean i'm going to get it so we're going to go to completed searching and here we go this is the completed listings and this is going to show us things that have not sold which is in black and things that have sold which is in green and it's kind of random it's kind of a hodgepodge of everything uh, some things are worth more money, some things are not. So what we're going to do is we're going to try and um, really scale down or, excuse me, narrow our searching more. So we want to search for the most expensive. Let's do that. We can sort by pricing plus shipping the most. And look at this. Some of these things are just, you know, tens of thousands of dollars and they're not selling. And you'll probably never be in a position to sell one of these things anyway. So let's click sold listings. I want to see what actually sold so here we go uh we have some time shares here i mean you'll probably never have to share those uh excuse me sell those so what we're going to do we're going to go to the search bar we're going to hit the minus sign and type in timeshare now this is going to take out every single listing with the name or with the word timeshare in the listing okay we also know that pins could be worth money so we're going to type in pins and we're also going to type in acre and acres to try and get rid of those properties um, listings and doll and doll and dolls because most people know those are worth money as well okay and the land so let's so let's see what kind of shows up here here we go we still have items worth you know a few thousand dollars here so we're looking and yeah they're nice and all but are we ever gonna really find one probably not or at least not that often. So we're going to search for things we can find more often. So on the bottom left here, what I'm going to do is I'm going to type in 30 and 300. Uh, 30 was the minimum amount. So no item sold here is going to be less than 30, and no item is going to be more than 300. So now we are really narrowing our results down. We're getting rid of uh, titles with words we don't want. We are getting rid of the super high prices of things we're probably not going to be able to find, especially on a daily basis. And we're getting rid of items that are kind of um, too low. They're not really worth our time to invest. So let's see what we have here. This is how I do research all the time. And I'm showing you Disney because um, I've actually found quite a few items just by doing this and I learn what they look for. So what I just did here is instead of searching for new items, we're probably not going to find a lot of new items out there. Uh, you know, maybe retail arbitrage, but this is more for garage sales, estate sales. So we're going to click on used. And now all these items here are only going to be used items, okay? Uh, no new item is going to appear here. So like I said, we're getting super, super narrow here. And we're going to type in a few more uh, things in the box, in the search bar, like figure things like that so we can kind of get an idea of what else sells because we, we, we're getting an idea now but it's kind of one thing and look at this this looks pretty interesting to me let's see here once you click on it you can also click on see original listing and it's going to look the same way it looked when the buyer purchased it on ebay so this looks like it's what it's the snow white mirror and it sold for three hundred dollars uh plus shipping uh, we can see here there's a coa which is a certificate of authenticity 
and there were some pictures of the actual uh, mirror. So that might be a cool item. You know, you might be able to get that, even if you pay 50 bucks for that, even if you pay 100 bucks for that at a state sale. I personally would grab that for 100 and I wouldn't look back either. So let's see what else we have here. Uh, a bunch of figure, figurines, things like that. So let's get rid of figurine. Okay. I'm going to get rid of figure, but I want to narrow it down a little bit more. Let's see what else we have here. Um, wow, that, that, that DVD went for a lot. Yeah, I want to do research on that. Here's some video games. Vintage Disney video games are worth money. My dog is barking at thunderstorm outside. So ignore him. Let's see. What I like to do is, uh, after that, I'll search for ending most recent. This is going to give us the greatest variety of different items because it's not only going to show us our super high-end items, it's going to also show us our items more on the lower end as well, which are okay because we've already gotten rid of those $10, $15 items that, for me personally, are not worth my time. They might be worth yours, though, and that's okay. That's okay. Your goal is to get eventually to the point where you might not want to put as much time in those. And there's nothing wrong with that. So let's see the Blu-ray here. Here's a lot of Blu-rays, uh, 3D Blu-rays, it said. Uh, Ten of them, and it went for what? 127 bucks. Hey, that's not bad. Let's see. So um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to get rid of Burke, because I see a lot of Dooney and Burke bags here, and I, I've sold a lot of them in the past, actually. It's kind of weird. One of the first things I started selling were handbags, um, like, when I first started eBay, like, over a decade ago. So let's see this. A cool watch, a Mickey Mouse watch, an R2-D2 uh, popcorn holder, I guess you would call it. Princess Tiana doll. So I think you guys really get the idea here. Oh, here's one cool thing. Let's let's click on this. All right. So this looks like it is some like spice jars. Disney. This is probably something you probably could find in a state sale. You know, you might pay I don't know a dollar piece or maybe twenty dollars, thirty dollars total, and you can sell it for uh, um you know one twenty. You know, this is awesome. I had this game as a kid, and uh, I, I I haven't found it in the wild yet. Well, it'd be pretty cool to find it. I love dealing with uh, vintage games like that. All right, so I hope you guys enjoyed my video. I hope you learned something. Um, and make sure that you guys continue doing this research. It's very very important. If you are just relying on the information from videos you see or information from uh, Facebook groups or what have you not, you're really doing yourself a disservice. And if you're trying to take this business seriously, you have to do better than that. Don't just follow the latest trend because you're already behind. Get ahead. Uh, I have, when I started really, really doing research, uh, really in depth, I started making a lot more money and a lot fewer sales because I'm able to find uh, higher selling products. So I would rather have fewer sale, sales and make more money than have more sales and less money. To me, that just seems like the most efficient thing. And uh, that's how you could look at places that you can go pick up in the store, but obviously they're going to be new. So with that said, I hope you liked this video. Make sure that you like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you on the flip side.